Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching Today I Found Out. And in the video today, one down, five to go. Exactly when King Henry VIII first began contemplating having his marriage to Catherine of Aragon annulled is not clear, though court gossip from the time suggests that the thought possibly entered the king's mind as early as 1520. More concrete sources suggest that the king began seriously considering giving his wife the old heave-ho in 1524 upon learning from court physicians that Catherine could no longer bear children. You see, as with so many monarchs, King Henry was obsessed to an almost comical degree with having a son, something he was apparently unable to do with Catherine, who stubbornly gave birth to a girl in 1515 after suffering several miscarriages. As kings, and indeed many men of standing in the era were wont to do, beyond hitting the hay with his wife, Henry on the side took a mistress, one of Catherine's ladies-in-waiting, Mary Boleyn, in the 1520s. While this affair is rumored to have resulted in at least two children being sired by the king, Henry himself wouldn't acknowledge either of Mary's children as his own. When two is deemed better, surely three is best, and in 1527, King Henry began trying to woo Mary's younger sister, Anne. Anne reportedly rebuffed Henry's advances, taking advice from another future queen called Beyoncé and refusing to give him what he wanted unless he put a ring on it. And so it was that Henry tasked his finest biblical scholars with finding a loophole in the Bible that would let him divorce Catherine so he'd be able to have his way with Anne. Eventually, such a loophole was found in the form of Leviticus chapter 20, verse 16, which reads in part, If a man shall take his brother's wife, it is an impurity. He hath uncovered his brother's nakedness. They shall be childless. If you're wondering how this applied to Henry, we should probably mention that Catherine was his dead brother Arthur's former wife, who ultimately became Henry's wife, in part because of a dispute over returning the rather large dowry her parents had sent when she married Arthur. Henry took this to mean that his marriage was cursed, pointing to his offensive lack of male heirs as proof. The Pope remains unconvinced and refused to grant Henry the divorce. Annoyed, Henry demanded that the Archbishop of Canterbury declare his marriage to Catherine null and void on May 23, 1533 anyway, though before this, in secret, he married Anne Boleyn in January of 1533. This, unsurprisingly, caused a schism between the King and the Pope and set in motion events that would eventually see Britain break free from Catholic rule, all because King Henry had the hots for his wife's friend. This did not work out for Anne, however. While she dutifully became pregnant, seemingly immediately, upon their secret marriage, or perhaps got pregnant before, which is why the date of the supposed secret marriage took place long before his divorce, she had the audacity to give birth to a girl and then had a series of miscarriages. In the meantime, Anne had made a lot of enemies at court, and they started to plot against her. She was arrested in 1536 and brought up on charges of, ironically, adultery. Nobody seemed to mind the king doing the same, but of course it's good to be king. They also accused Anne Boleyn of incest. Along with this, she was also accused of plotting to murder the king for good measure. Which, to be fair, if that one's true, would not really blame her for it. Her true crime, of course, was not giving birth to a son. In the end, she was found guilty and sentenced to beheading. Interestingly, shortly before the sentence was carried out on May 19, 1536, her marriage to King Henry was annulled, as he claimed that he had never been legally married to her. After all, how could you marry someone when you were already married to someone else? Anne's head was removed during a private execution with one quick and clean stroke of a sword, and the king moved on to the next woman in line. So I really hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for brand new videos every day of the week. Also, I've got another channel. It's called Biographics. It's biographies of notable people from the present day as well as history, from Elon Musk to Osama bin Laden. Check it out through the icon on the screen now. But if you want to watch something else right now, why not check out another Today I Found Out video or a Biographics video over there on the right. And as always, thank you for watching.